Hey guys, so what do you think about that uh, that YouTube thing? It's uh, it's a new website. Um, I've heard that they they uh, they do loads of uh, magic on there, and uh, and uh, yeah, and uh, hey, Hermione, hey, <laughs> uh, hey guys, and welcome back to episode three of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Um, basically, literally just uh, recording this one after episode two. Because I didn't want to make episode two too long, and I, and I was gonna, about to start the Care of Mythical Creatures class, um, which I believe is over there. But we also saw this pumpkin patch, so let's check this out. I believe these are pumpkins that we can get now. Oh, oh, oh that's pretty cool. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Fair enough. Are these just gonna keep regrowing? If they are, I'm just gonna keep breaking them. <laughs> okay, uh, so yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, okay, can't, can't cast it again. Oh, cool. So they do go pretty fast. Um, so, method creatures, I don't know for a fact, but I presume it's gonna be over here, because I can see a carriage. Yeah, please. Care of magical creatures class is just through that gate. Okay, never mind. No. Um, and that must be a pixie infestation. Oh, it wasn't a carriage. Um, okay. When you three have finished dealing with the pixies, care of magical creatures class is this way. Okay. <laughs> it's up to you, Harry. We can explore for a bit, or follow Neville to class. Come on now, come on. Which which is it gonna be? Eeny meeny miny this way. There was never any doubt in my mind of which way we were going to choose. Alright, let's go and clear out the pixies. Nice little pixies. loading transition. Uh. E, get away from me! <laughs> Eek. <laughs> We've got a pixie infestation on our hands. Happily. What can we do to help? Just cast at the well to stir up the swarm. You'll have to work together to get rid of them. If you don't get all of the pixies on the first try, you can try again as often as you want. You'll earn a collector's card each time you can beat the swarm. If you can drive off every last pixie in the well, you'll earn all five cards in the set. But that's no easy feat. Oh, I bet it is. Okay, I presume I need to kill this. Ron, why are you getting hit? Combat, um, I'd, I said this before, um, not to moan about this game or anything, but the, I'd much prefer it if it didn't latch on to your targets, so if I, if I move along like that, that's just targeted that, like how you can see the, when it's red that means that it's going to shoot at that, if I move, it should move like that. That shouldn't just latch onto it. I'd much prefer me to actually have to, to aim. That's the only problem I have with uh, this. But it's not really a game that you play for combat. That prefect said we'd win all five cards in the set if we could drive all the pixies If you want combat, then you, you kind of play something like cards, not Harry Potter and the King of Azkaban. I wonder if they get the small per wave. Oh, I think I got hit there. Oh, so there's more waves per Zebra. I wonder if we could cast like a really large Richter Zembra. So many Richter Zembras. <laughs> My god. Oh. Come on, Ron, you know that you're terrible at saving try. We really showed them. Yes, we did. What's that guy? He's the. He looks gold. He looks like a bit of a brute. Okay. Oh, does that not work? Okay. Oh. 
so I mean the actual collecting the cards I've not actually completed a set yet so I don't know what that means um, like I said I've never played this before so I don't really know m m many of the game mechanics though they are really quite good at explaining the game mechanics usually so I don't think that's going to be an issue it will probably be explained to me at one point there's one more Excellent spell casting you two. Yep, I know. Alright, what's this? Wave four? Yeah. I wonder if I could just sort of go around the corner and let these two do that. That'd be quite fun. I think the main reason that these early one these early games have the uh, the auto uh, aim is because they were pretty much just console ports. I don't think that they were ever dedicated um, games for PC. Um, though the Prisoner of Azkaban, uh, not the Prisoner of Azkaban, sorry, the Order of the Phoenix, it still had, it had also aim, but it, it took a different approach to the way that actually the combat worked, um, which we'll go into a little bit later on in this series, but you know, something worth noting. I actually got a copyright strike on one of my first episodes of this. Um, even though <laughs> pretty much all of these these Harry Potter ones I don't even monetize because number one, there's, there's not that much interest in them. It's just something that I'm going to do anyway, so I might as well record them. Um, and it's also the, the fact that just because EA are EA and EA are dicks, <laughs> so I don't monetize them. Uh, I've still got copyright strike for it. I think it ended up getting fixed. So if you can avoid it, try not to play EA games because EA are just tosses. It's a shame really because they do make some quite decent games. I think this is the last wave, I believe it is. Like, obviously, not in this wave, but like, the last card. Okay, so after this we will go and do the mythical creatures thing. I'd laugh if we go to Hagrid and he's like, <laughs> for today's class we need to kill some pixies. It's like, yep, we've done that. Like, these pixies. Oh, I just walked into a dead pit, didn't it hurt? I wonder if there's going to be like a big Cornish pixie at the end. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? I think so, at least. Go on, give me the biggest Cornish pixie that there is. We did it! Oh. That's right. Fly away and good riddance. I don't think they come the That dead. was fantastic. Okay, so yeah, we can do that. Okay. I'm just gonna get these frogs just because I can. Oh, they jump as well. You don't usually see uh, followers jump in in most games. To be fair. Okay, so mythical creatures is this way, so I've been told. Okay. <laughs> that, the reason I ended up episode two is because it was already 15 minutes in. This What's one's already 10 thing? minutes in now. <laughs> I hope Hagrid doesn't expect us to touch it. Disgusting creature. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Care of Magical Creatures class. I'll be teaching you this time. <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to Buckbeak. He's a hippogriff. He is Today, a hippogriff. You'll be learning how to ride him. You first, Harry. Just walk up to Beaky and give him a bow. You won't have me bowing to that filthy beast. Hello, Buckbeak. There's a good hippogriff. Your goal is to fly through enough bats to beat the top number on the counter. Okay. As soon as you're ready, just click the right mouse button to make Beaky fly. Okay. I presume that's going to be spacebar for me. 
<laughs> this feels very Spyro-esque. Oh, what did I have to do? Was it click? Oh no, oh dear, dear. Oh no. Okay, so it's spaceball. Oh, this is like... This is... Oh, this is very, very... Oh dear. Okay. Maybe... Okay, the actual controls for this are slightly strange. I wonder if we can run across. Oh no! Oh, 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 oh dear. Okay, this is slightly weird. It's not as fluent as I would have hoped it to be. Like the the up to go upwards, it's really quite sudden. But to go downwards, it takes quite a long time. Um, getting the hang of it now. Though. I presume we go from here. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> it's quite weird how he doesn't switch to walk in the earth, he still flies, even though he's touching the ground. Okay, so I've, I've beaten the high score, I believe, or the score that I was supposed to be. There's a good fellow. I'd laugh if I missed that massive one. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was expecting him to do when he was on the floor. Sort of like a, a runny fly. A collector's card. That was really well done, Harry. I wonder if Come I got all the of them. Any time you want another go, there's five courses to fly in all, and you can win a collector's card on each of them. Okay. I bet you're not dangerous at all, are you? <laughs> Great ugly brute. <laughs> I'm dying. Look at me. <laughs> it's killed me. You're not dying. Do you think you'll be all right? Of course. Madam Palfrey can make cuts in about a second. You can bet Malfoy will make something out of this. Of course he will. It is Malfoy, after all. Okay, that was significantly not as long as I thought it would be. <laughs> concerned about Hagrid, and with Malfoy playing up his injury, he was worried about Buckbeak too. Where'd Hermione go anyway? It's nearly time for transfiguration class. Uh -huh. Um, you two ready for class? Are you all right? What's happened? I'm just a bit tired, that's all. <laughs> We'd better get up to the first floor, or we'll be late for transfiguration. We could take the first floor portrait shortcut. Or go round by the stairs. You lead the way, Harry. Right. First floor, transfiguration class. Haddon. Okay. Uh, yeah, one thing I, I wanted to mention in episode one that I forgot to was the fact that. Uh, Hi, Harry. I heard there's some excellent secrets down in the dungeon this year. Okay. I'm heading there right now. The um, actual the the, the fact that Stephen King is is voice acting this is pretty damn cool in my opinion. <laughs> Him walking on this uh, really sounds like somebody knocking on the door in my opinion. What's he doing? Ooh, looky, looky. It's Weasel Grunge and Potty. Peeves. <laughs> I don't like the look of that armor. He's locked us in. No, no, I no, bet no, no, we can no, beat no. him if we all cast at once. Ron, See, if there's one thing you do not put in a trap, if there's one thing, if you value oh, your life, goody. if you value Three your continued existence, ah. there's one thing that you didn't never put in a trap. And that is a reference that only a few people are going to get. Can't pay retract uh, them. Hang on, I'm pulling his, ar I'm pulling his armor off. Oh, come on. Okay, he's, he's getting down there. He just smacks into the wall. Oh, is he fucked? He's mallet. I want to see if he. Th oh, no, he doesn't. Stink <laughs> you were brilliant, Ron. Yes, he was. It's easy to be brilliant when you're scared half to death. <laughs> We'd better get on to transfiguration class. Quite true, to be fair. Peeves has probably made us late. I've got 31 pumpkins. Fair play. Pumpkin and then, uh, right, transfiguration. 
This is probably going to be short, hopefully. Hello, no, it's not going to be, is it? It's not going to be. Class. One of the most advanced transfiguration spells enables a wizard to become an animagus. Mm. Animagi can transform themselves into animals and then back into people. For example... I hope I get to do it. Oh, that is very well done for its time. Are there any questions? I'm Professor really Gumbel, impressed with that. Are werewolves animagi? No, they're not. Animagi turn into animals at will. A werewolf cannot control its transformation. Now for today's lesson. The Draconifers and Lepifors spells. Miss Granger, perhaps you'd grace the class by having a go at the exercise I've prepared. Me? Oh, yes! If you'll just step through this door, then... Okay. I knew this was coming. I knew this was coming so much. I wonder if I... Let's can turn with into an animal. Spell, Miss Granger. Right. Lapifors. The transformation of a small object into a rabbit. Correct, Miss Granger. Five house points for Gryffindor. Nice. Cast Lapifors on the rabbit statue. You will then be able to control the transfigured rabbit. What? Lapifors! Use the arrow keys to move the rabbit in the desired direction. This game the is right mouse absolutely button will make crazy. The Push the forward arrow key and hold down the right mouse button for the longest jumps. Press the enter key any time you wish to stop the spell. Or simply complete the task at hand with the rabbit and the spell will stop on its own. Um, you will find uh, rabbit holes throughout the challenge, Miss Granger. If a hole is blocked by grass, click the left mouse button to make the rabbit chew through the vegetation. Got it! Press the left mouse button to chew through the grass. This is not even... It's not even close to what I was imagining. Just this alone, this. The fact that you can control something that isn't the character, or the characters. It's absolutely crazy. Well done. Now, take note of the mound of earth. Position the rabbit on top of the dirt and press the left mouse button to begin digging. Right. Use the left mouse button to chew or dig. Yep. I'm just squatting in some sand. Splendid, uh, Miss Granger. Okay. Lapapause. I want to wanna become this rabbit all of the time. She didn't actually tell me how many um, of those things there were. I presume there's going to be ten throughout all of the, the levels, and I can't actually pick them up um, using the rabbit. So let's the pulse, the pulse, and get used. There's one. Don't say out of how many actually. It just says one. Uh, let's just get all of the ones that we can get. Okay. Let's go through there. Is there anything? Any small holes? No. No. Okay. Oh, so a unicorn. I wonder if there's any other animals or if it's just a rabbit. Okay. So I need to find a something that I can cast it on. I don't think I can cast it on that kind of. Aha. Um, okay. uh -huh, very clever. That is really really cool. Really really cool, I say. In my opinion, at least. So that's the mound of earth that we need to dig through. Let's get some of these things. Okay. So there's also something through here. Gotta get all of the uh, the things. What's that? Oh, there's also another mound of earth. Okay, let's try and get. I think this one may be a secret one. It's less obvious. Ah, uh, yeah, it is. Secret mound of earth. Hmm. Okay, let's dig through this one. And then we go through here and get you. Save. Okay, so. That save point is actually quite a good location to save this at. 
actually at the end of episode three now. Um, like I said, I think twenty minute episodes. I think um, from just just me personally. Uh, tell me if you don't like them this way, but me, um, I think that twenty minutes is a really good length for a video because it's not too long, it's not too short. It's just it's um, there there in between where it wants you, it leaves you wanting more. Um, but it's also not too long where you have to go away and watch it over like three or four days. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, please show your continued support uh, if you do, and I'll continue making these videos either way. Uh, so thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.